Hello, my name is Jordan Street, and I'm from the University of Florida Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. My project, the Hercules Autopilot, was done entirely in the spring semester for the 2015 TI Innovation Challenge. I'd like to thank Dr. Fred Taylor for serving as my faculty advisor. The Hercules Autopilot is a full flight control system designed for quadrotor UAVs featuring 100% custom designed hardware and software. The system consists of two modules. The air module mounts on the flight vehicle and is responsible for managing all flight functions. The telemetry module interfaces with the laptop and communicates wirelessly with the air module through an RF link. Top and bottom views of the assembled air module are shown to the right. The system runs all flight control software on a TI ARM safety MCU. The air module can be interfaced with three separate power sources providing triple redundancy. A comprehensive sensor package is included on board with ports for an external GPS and digital compass. A spread spectrum RF link is included to interface with the telemetry module. All inputs and outputs are buffered and USB connectivity allows the air module to interface with the computer. Top and bottom views of the assembled telemetry module are also shown at the bottom. The autopilot features two primary flight modes, the first of which is called angle mode. Angle mode is the manual flight mode in which the pilot maneuvers the vehicle. Translational motion is achieved by tilting the vehicle such that a component of the net thrust is in the desired direction of travel. Horizontal movement of the right stick commands the roll angle. Vertical movement of the right stick commands the pitch angle. Horizontal movement of the left stick commands the yaw rate. And vertical movement of the left stick adjusts the overall throttle command. This video demonstrates more aggressive flight in angle mode. The flight control software is broken up into three primary functions, guidance, navigation, and control. The guidance section generates flight commands to be carried out by the control section. The navigation section estimates the vehicle's position and orientation in 3D space. The control section carries out the flight commands issued by the guidance section. In angle mode, the guidance section generates roll angle, pitch angle, yaw rate, and throttle commands from the RC transmitter stick positions. The control section translates these roll angle and pitch angle commands into roll rate and pitch rate commands through two PID controllers. These roll rate and pitch rate commands, in addition to the yaw rate command, are translated into angular acceleration commands through three additional PID controllers. The angular acceleration commands are mixed with a throttle command according to a specific mixing matrix to generate motor speed commands. The second flight mode is called waypoint mode. In waypoint mode, the vehicle autonomously flies a predetermined flight path specified by GPS waypoints. In this video, waypoint mode is enabled and the vehicle takes off, flies the course, and lands completely autonomously. In the bottom right, you can see that no operator intervention occurs throughout the flight. The bottom left shows mission feedback and a GPS overlay of the flight path. This flight path spans a quarter mile and includes multiple waypoints ranging in altitude from 15 to 30 feet. The telemetry module receives real-time feedback from the air module and can interface with multiple commercial off-the-shelf ground stations. The instruments in this COTS ground station include an artificial horizon, ground speed indicator, altimeter, climb rate indicator, and heading indicator. The bottom middle display indicates the current GPS position, waypoint number, waypoint distance, and GPS accuracy. The flight path tracking also occurs in real time and is displayed on top of Google Maps. In waypoint mode, the guidance section generates a heading from the current position to the next waypoint. This heading is translated into a yaw rate command. A forward velocity inversely proportional to the heading error is commanded. The next waypoint altitude is translated into a vertical velocity command. The control section translates horizontal velocity commands into roll angle and pitch angle commands through two PID controllers. The vertical velocity command is translated into a throttle command through an additional PID controller. The roll angle, pitch angle, yaw rate, and throttle commands are then sent to the angle mode controller, which generates motor speed commands.
As mentioned previously, the navigation section estimates the vehicle position and orientation. Inertial data from a 3-axis gyro and 3-axis accelerometer is fused with sensor data from a GPS, barometric altimeter, and digital compass in an extended Kalman filter to estimate the vehicle state. The navigation section is also responsible for translating state estimates to multiple coordinate frames as needed by the control section. Here the vehicle matches the takeoff orientation and lands autonomously. The autopilot is then disengaged. This concludes the Hercules autopilot demonstration video. For additional technical details and a more in-depth overview of the system, see the project report. Thank you for watching.